Welcome back to Home Your Vision and a very good day to all of you. I am Dr. Gautami Deshmukh and in this second video of Organon of Medicine series, we will be discussing about aphorism number two. Let us now have a look at the aphorism number two. In this aphorism, Hahnemann talks about the highest ideal of cure. So what do we mean by the highest ideal of cure? Uh, we can interpret this as the highest level close to perfection that one can attain. Let me write this down. The highest level close to perfection that one can attain in cure. So this is what Hahnemann is trying to tell us. In this aphorism, Hahnemann gives us the qualities of a of an ideal cure. Now, what are these qualities? Let us have a look at that. So he says, an ideal cure must be rapid. It must be gentle. It must be permanent. And it has to be complete removal of the disease. complete removal of disease. Of course, uh, shortest, harmless, and based on easily comprehensible principles. Okay, which is it's written over here. Uh, based on easily comprehensible principles. So these are the qualities of an ideal cure. It has to be rapid, gentle and permanent restoration of the health or removal and annihilation of the disease in its whole extent in the shortest, most harmless way and on easily comprehensible principles. Uh, now let us uh, learn what each word means. Okay, now when we say rapid, of course, we have a diseased man who is, in, uh, who is in suffering, he already has a lot of pain and agony and what he desires is a speedy recovery. And what we desire is to give him a speedy cure. So this is what Hahnemann is trying to tell us, that an ideal cure must obviously be rapid. We have to relieve the sufferings of our patient as fast as possible. Now, by the what does he mean by the word gentle? Gentle means um, we should not be adopting any harmful methods of treatment. We should not be adopting any harmful methods of treatment. He says that our sick man, our patient is already in a lot of suffering. He is already in a lot of pain and agony. The methods of treatment that we employ must not add on to his sufferings. It has to be gentle. The treatment that we give him should not give him much more pain. Instead, it has to be gentle and it has to be harmless. The reason why he talks about cure being gentle is that during Hanman's time, a lot of harmful and torturesome practices like leaching, blistering, venesection, use of purgatives, use of emetics, all these practices and methods of treatments were very much popular and very much prevalent during his time. So he says all these methods of treatments were in fact adding on to the suffering of the patient. It was giving them much more pain than that person was already in. So he says our method of treatment or our cure must be gentle and it should not add fuel to the fire that the patient is already in. This is the meaning of gentle. And now he says permanent restoration of the health. Um, when, whenever we are treating a patient, I always take this example of fever and antipyretics. If a person has a fever and if we give him an antipyretic, the antipyretic will maybe act for four or five hours and during the duration of the action, the fever will subside and we, after the duration of action of that particular antipyretic, the temperature will rise again. Can this be called as a cure? Definitely not because there is a recurrence of the symptom. So this cannot be called as cure. So therefore, Hanlin says that there has to be a permanent restoration of health. If there, is, if there are any recurrence of symptoms, then this cannot be termed as cure. So he says cure must always be permanent. 
and he also uses the word removal and annihilation annihilation means complete destruction okay of the disease in its whole extent so let us understand one concept over here we have a we have the vital force which in uh, in its state of equilibrium when it whenever the vital force is functioning harmoniously we are in a state of health but whenever the vital force is deranged a deranged vital force will manifest itself in the form of symptoms many symptoms correct now this set of symptoms is going to be called as a disease okay the set of symptoms is called as a disease so what handman is trying to tell us in this aphorism is that removal of one or two symptoms cannot be called as a cure we need to annihilate or remove this entire disease by which he means that all the symptoms of a disease have to be removed and in order to remove all the symptoms of a disease we will have to treat the deranged vital force so he says uh, restoration of health this is what he means by a uh, restoration of health he says that the deranged vital force has to be brought back to its healthy harmonious state that is the restoration of the uh, of the sick person to his healthy state so the disease in its whole extent has to be removed removal of one or two symptoms cannot be termed as cure all the symptoms and the complete entire disease has to be removed and in the most harmless way as already discussed harmful or torturous practices must not be used and in very simple layman terms we should also use medicines that do not give them side effects okay so in the most harmless way and based on easily comprehensible principle principles the word comprehensible means easily understandable principles so the principles that are cure uh, should be based on have to be easily understandable principles so the uh, principles uh, which are easily understandable are going to be the laws of nature the laws of nature are always fixed they are not ever changing unlike many other laws that are prevalent uh, the laws of nature are always fixed and they are very easy to understand and a method of cure or a method of treatment that is uh, based on these easily comprehensible laws of nature are going to be very very reliable so these are the qualities of of a of an ideal cure uh, here i would also like to add a high yield point Uh, which was useful for our pg exams uh, the criteria for an ideal cure was actually first stated or advocated by a greek physician sorry yeah a greek physician named asclepiades in 124 bc so he gives this statement he says cito tuto et jucunde which means a disease should be treated speedily safely and agreeably if there are any questions please feel free to put them in the comment section like and subscribe for more content thank you for watching